everyone, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be a repressing of my Panda palette. I have the Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit palette. This is the Needs. She came out with two, but I have this one. I'm gonna take this off because it's broken, but this is what my palette is looking like as of now. Um, it's been about a week since I uploaded and filmed and uploaded my Panda palette update. I wanted to do the repressing right after I filmed that, but uh, because of time constraints and stuff, I wasn't able to do so. So um, I have used it for about a week. So I'm going to be uh, repressing it, refrankening some shadows, and let's see what we can come up with. So I will be doing that. Also, I decided since I'm gonna be repressing and frankening, I might as well do repressing of other stuff that I need to repress. So the first thing that I have here is my e.l.f. blush. I, if you guys saw my update, this is what it looks like. I, I will be repressing this more towards the center and uh, maybe uh, doing something a little extra with that. So you guys will see that in the video. Also, I want to repress my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is a powder foundation actually, but I have it in a darker shade and I use it as a bronzer. This is what it's looking like right now. Um, I want to scrape off the edges uh, because I'm having a hard time getting my brush to evenly, to get an even application around the product. So. I will be repressing this. And then also I have a highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. And as you guys can see, I have been working on these two shades, kind of mixing them together. So I will be uh, kind of breaking this portion right here off and repressing it towards this side uh, so that I don't get my brush mixed with this color right here because I do use this as a highlighter on my face. I don't want the darker shade mixed um, when I apply my brush or when I try to get my brush, the product on this side. So I will be repressing that. Also, I have two empty compacts here. One will be for the bronzer. The other will be for the, um, for the blush maybe or the highlighter, I don't know, we'll see. But I do have empty compacts here. So um, without any more rambling, let's just get started, shall we? So starting with my pan that palette, I'm going to start uh, repressing that brown shade. I'm not planning on doing any refrankening with that shade. I'm just going to keep it as is. So I'm going to just crush it into as small as possible as I can. Add some alcohol to it. Mix, mix, mix. And whenever I feel like it's ready, I just repress it with a paper towel. You guys know how that goes. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with how that process goes. Then after I finished with that brown shade, I moved over to that cream shade and I wanted to make kind of like a light lavender like color. So I used a little bit of that uh, cream shade and that dark purple shade. And I also, because I was hoping to make a little bit of a lavender color, I went in with the pink shade from my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I'm removing a dog hair. <laughs> and... Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I added some of that pink from that Gwen Stefani palette, hoping to make that purpley lavender shade. But spoiler alert, it didn't quite come out as lavender-y as I hope it would. It looks like it might right there before I add the alcohol uh, to mix the product together. But once I mixed everything and I repressed it, it wasn't quite as light as I would have wanted. I don't know if I if I put too much purple not enough pink i don't know it's still quite dark and even after it dried it didn't dry as light as i would have wanted but oh well you live you learn what can i do then for um the next one i did a little bit more of that cream matte cream shade and then i wanted to make like an olivey color so i added a little bit of the navy blue that's in that Gwen Stefani palette. I'm using that palette because that, that palette is almost done. So I'm hoping to get it out, out, of, the, out of the collection this year. So um, after I added that navy blue, I went ahead and I went back with a little bit of the gold shade that's in there. And I was hoping that the blue and the gold would make kind of an olivey shade and the cream shade would lighten up, up a little bit, but it didn't quite <laughs> turn out as I wanted it either. Um, they're still pretty wearable shades, I think, but just not what I was kind of envisioning in my head, but it is what it is. I repressed it and that's kind of what it looks like after it repressed. Um, these are my six shades, well, my five shades now, and I'm not planning on include, uh, adding anything else. I'm just going to use these as they are. 
Then I moved over to my highlighter. I went and I scraped out as much as I could. It was really easy to scrape that champagne color because it was so thin, but that pink side was quite a bit thicker, closer to that bronzy shade. Um, I was lucky enough that I was able to cut off a chunk, uh, like a huge chunk came off. You see that there? I wasn't quite lucky with the second half. I actually ended up kind of scraping off some of the bra um, blush onto the scraping of the product, but it's not too much. Um, I was able to push everything to the side. I decided not to put another, this. I decided not to put this in another compact. I just repressed it to the opposite side. And I think it came, It I did a good job in repressing everything. Um, added a little bit of alcohol, made sure that I combined everything to the opposite side. I am using a kind of a flat elf brush. So it was okay to repress it to the other side and I won't be like mixing the blush side with the highlighter side. I don't know if I'll be able to get to the high, uh, blush side this year. Uh, but this palette actually surprised me because how much how, how much I enjoyed um, the highlighter. Came out a little bit kind of pink. Uh, I don't know if it's because of that blush that I scraped onto it. Maybe I should have scraped some of the little bit of the gold onto the repressing, but it's fine. I'll use it. This is what it looks like. I hope that it works okay. Then I moved over to my, my bronzer. This one I did decide to use a different compact just because of that plastic little... Um, thing on the bottom. I tried to scoop out as much as I could. However, I didn't get all of it out because some of the pieces, I hope if you guys, you guys can't see, but some of the pieces were coming out with chunks of glue. This is what happened to me, the same thing with my Gelee products. So as much as I could without, that didn't have glue, I kept. So I, it didn't take all of it out. I hope that made sense. Um, but it's still quite a bit of product. This is kind of dark on my face. I can't use a lot of it. Um, I, it if I go pretty heavy handed with this, it does look bad. So I'm okay with the amount of product that I ended up taking. I was able to mix it in towards the center and then repress it fairly well. Um, you guys can see that once I start using it like with a blush, the little bit of product that's on the rest of the pan will kind of incorporate onto the brush and I'll be able to apply it. It'll definitely give me a, a more even application than how it was prior to. So in a little bit, you guys will see a comparison of both compacts, one, what it looks like repressed and the other one with what it looked like, uh, with what was left over in the original packaging. So there you go. Everything that's left there is kind of glued on. So last but not least, moving on to this blush. Uh, this blush actually had very little bit of product. So I did decide to add a little bit of, of that pink eyeshadow shade from the Gwen Stefani palette, hoping to make it a little bit more pinky because this is kind of a deep color. I do tone it down with a face powder to not make it look so like bold on my cheeks. So I figured the pink would be okay, but honestly, I think it came out a little bit too pink. I haven't worn it yet, but it's going to be kind of like very shimmery. And I accidentally put a lot of alcohol <laughs> to repress it. It's looking very watery. Um, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when I wear it. Like I said, I haven't worn it. But um, it looks very, very like shimmery, glittery kind of almost. But it's the pink from the eyeshadow. I repressed it really well and that's what it looks like. So there you have it, guys. That's all, everything that I repressed for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.